Here. So Google's Pixel devices are ideally showcased in the latter half of the year. But the rumor mill has already been working over time. It gave us quite a lot of information about the Pixel 6 already, making a lot of tech enthusiasts get excited about Google's next flagship product. And today we have the first look at the handset which reveals we are in for a lot of surprises. First off, Google is reverting back to its old ways with plans for two flagship smartphone models. The 2021 lineup will consist of the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. That's right, instead of naming the bigger variant XL, Google is taking a more Apple approach and we'll call it a Pro. But the design is where things just got interesting. These images are courtesy of John Prosser, who as you know is one of the top Apple leakers out there. And they're based on the actual real hands-on videos of the handset. A few weeks ago, we got information that Google is changing their design language with the Pixel 6. They'll actually be moving the front-facing camera from the top left corner over to the top center of the screen while also reducing the radius of the camera cutout. And that's exactly what we see here. Not only they've reduced the size of the cutout, but also managed to slim down the bezels quite a lot. Also, the display is slightly curved according to Prosser, and that's absolutely amazing. I'm a huge fan of curved displays as they give the handset a more futuristic look. And don't worry about accidental touch activation being a thing on this phone because the display is only slightly curved and wouldn't hinder the user experience much like the latest Samsung flagships. But in any case, with curved displays and minimal bezels, the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro look just as modern and beautiful as other top smartphones out there. But the design of the back is where things are a little aggressive and you might either love it or totally hate it. It actually looks like a phone that Robocop would use. To be honest, I didn't like the back design in this orange, black and white mix with black frame, too much contrast and flashy colors for my taste until I saw this. This metallic gold finish looks absolutely stunning and Google should be proud of themselves for designing such a distinct looking phone that not only looks good but manages to stand out from the crowd as well. Interestingly, Max Weinbeck says the renders are accurate but the colors are not. I guess time will tell but I just hope it looks more like this and not this. Anyway, the Pixel 6 will have two cameras while it's three on the Pixel 6 Pro. No camera specs have been mentioned but judging from the design of the lenses, it can be safe to say that we may not see a periscope zoom camera on either of these two handsets. Another feature debuting on the Pixel lineup is the under display fingerprint scanner meaning Google is finally saying goodbye to the rear mounted sensor. Prosser explains that Google is making this aggressive design change because they're betting big on this phone as it's going to be the first Google phone to have their in-house Google Silicon called GS101 designed in collaboration with Samsung. This phone, Google marks another change in their strategy, a strategy which can take Google to the big leagues with Apple and Samsung because with this chip, Google can now control the whole stack from software to hardware, something that Apple does. And that means a well-optimized Pixel handset much like the iPhones. 